Hi, it's Fran Sleeved. Hi. And we're in the kitchen today. Um, let me so show you something. While my baking queens want to bake cake and with lots of chocolate and stuff that I cannot have, <laughs> I will be making a chicken delicious chicken, salad. delicious chicken salad that we can have on our bariatric diet. Gonna be making this together and it's gonna be trial and error and we'll see what happens um the chicken salad that I was buying has too much fat so I've decided that I have no choice but to make my own so we're gonna start off with two eggs and get that mashed up all nice but I will only use one half of one yolk and then I'll put it in my thinnest pal okay so this is the chopped up egg they're two hard-boiled eggs and half of one yolk okay so the reason i got canned chicken is because quite honestly i tried making this chicken salad in the past and i hate waiting for chicken to cook to be honest so i got this one because it was it says 100 percent all natural and it's chicken breast and water and i read that it's 98 percent fat free there's no preservatives it's made with sea salt no artificial ingredients you guys are right there yeah okay <laughs> And this is the label. So for, it's this has five servings, so I'll put all this in. But basically, it. it's got, for each serving, it's got nine grams of protein, no carbs, um, only one gram of fat. And if you, and if we look, we can read all the ingredients. And that right, is... So I am going to take this chicken that I have drained really well and um, wiped it off. And I am going to add it to the eggs the entire can um, I'm leaving this out so when I put it in my fitness pal shh, when I put it in my fitness pal I can go ahead and um, figure out the ingredients we're gonna I'm gonna do it by taste so I'm gonna start with the relish okay so it's just um, my olive dill relish and it doesn't have anything in it um, besides sodium so that's why I chose it and it doesn't have any of the seeds that pickles have so we can have relish I like relish, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons. So here's one tablespoon, and I'm trying not to get the water really, but I guess you can if you like it. Um, but I like it, so I'd rather more relish than than liquid. So there's my second tablespoon of relish. I have apple cider vinegar, and while I never thought I was a fan of apple cider vinegar because it's huge here in North Carolina, and quite honestly, but anyway, just kidding. Um, I, re I figured out that this actually tastes pretty good. It's what kind of what makes the chicken salad taste good. The one that I used to buy, it was clean, so I was able to read the ingredients, and that's why I'm trying to duplicate it. So I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of this as well. So here is one tablespoon and two tablespoons. So here's the fun part. I am a lover of everything mayonnaise. That's just the truth. So I am going to start with two tablespoons and hopefully that'll be enough. And if I have to put another tablespoon, I will, but I'm hoping that I won't. Here are the nutrition facts on that. And when I'm done making this, I'll put everything in my fitness pal. Oh, that's kind of blurry, sorry guys. I'll put everything in my fitness pal so we can see what it all comes up to. All right, so here are the two tablespoons of mayonnaise. No, there's never too much vegetables. Go ahead and make green beans. Sorry guys, they're cooking behind me. Um, and there's my Emily being silly. So there's one tablespoon of mayonnaise. Stop. You're distracting. <laughs> Gotta love her. And here is... Oh, I want to make sure that I'm only getting a tablespoon. And here's another <laughs> tablespoon of mayonnaise. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and stir it up. And we'll look at the consistency and see if we need to add another. Oh, but I'm thinking with all the stuff in here, we probably will. So let's do it. It's just a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add one, I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I'm not gonna cheat, that's about as half as I can get. Um, actually, you know what, we will take some of this out. That looks better, so I'll add this half a tablespoon. Um, of course, my girls who love to bake have misplaced the half tablespoon measuring spoon. They don't know where it is, they never know where it is. It's okay. Yeah, they never touch it. Oh, I'm sure I you guys it. have those kids at home too, right? They never touch it. I they don't it. know. So, I am going to add some pe Oh, Emily, this pepper is almost gone, babe. Can you see if there's another one in there, please? So I'm going to add some pepper. I've been buying some um, sea salt. And 
I just use my hand because. Here, mom, there's I don't no know. more pepper. You're gonna have to use that. By Are you the sure way, there's no more pepper? I'm selling these. Emily, go away. <laughs> 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 a store. <laughs> Guys. No. All right, so I'm adding some pepper. And I already added some of the salt. And so I'm going to stir it up. And let's take a look. I like garlic salt. Those that have watched my other videos, you may that's my go-to. So I'm going to add just a little bit. Okay. And now let's see. Okay, so here comes the test. Sorry for all the noise they're cooking in the background. So let's see. Here's some chicken salad. Um, this is what it looks like. And here we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make figure out how many servings there are and then put in my so fitness pack. Here's my trusty measuring cup. And I am going to pour this in there to see how many cups I have of it. So that way I can come up with some servings, some numbers. Emily, I promise you, you will go to bed without dinner. <laughs> All right, here we okay. go. Okay. I'm scared now. All right, so they're all going in here and I am going to flatten it out. And I'm gonna clean this off because this is where I'm actually gonna use it to put in the refrigerator. And then um, I'm not gonna eat it right away. For those of you that have ever made chicken salad or potato salad or any type of these salads before, you know it all tastes better once it's been refrigerated for a while. There's a lot of cooking going on right now in this kitchen, so I apologize for all the noise. And we have, um, it looks like one and two thirds of a cup, which does not seem like a lot at all, right? Um, one and two thirds of a cup, right? So, well, the problem is I can't get it completely flat. So on this end, it says one and two thirds. Let me check again. Um, we'll go with one and a half. Yeah. So one and a half cups of chicken salad. And I'm going to pour it back in here. I'm going to put some stuff in my fitness pal. Probably going to make them quarter cup servings. Or even, yeah, I'm going to make them quarter cup servings. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see from what I just uploaded, the not uploaded, took a picture of that you saw, um, those are pretty good nutrition facts, right? Um, so that's definitely a keeper. And I wanted to show you guys, I bought these, they have them at Walmart, but they also have them at the bariatric um, center that I buy my stuff at. And um, these are protein chips that are upside down. These are protein chips. <coughs> um, these are sea salt. And so, I don't know about you guys, but I like to crunch when I have like chicken salad and stuff, and especially in the refried beans. That is the nutritional facts on them, so they're very good. Um, so what I am going to do is I am going to use these sea salt crackers, or protein chips, they're more like a cracker consistency. I'll use these and eat them with a quarter cup of chicken salad. And that will be my lunch tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed my video, and bye. See you later. Bye.